Two years ago, Lyman and three other engineering students at Michigan State University took a class together that worked with an environmental development group called NGO. A class project then led to the first semi-functioning prototype of what Lyman calls the bean thresher. The engineer in Guatemala came up with this idea of a bicycle-powered bean thresher. So they came to our professor, Dr. Thompson, with this idea that um, a bicycle-powered bean thresher could um, improve livelihoods um, in rural Guatemala. Now with the help from a student innovation grant from the Global Center for Food Systems Innovation, Lyman said he is ready to bring the bean thresher to the new country of Zambia. Uh, this is sort of a, a, a carbine, a mini threshing um, machine packaged onto a bicycle. So the farmers don't, they probably don't know that it's coming. With less than 24 hours before he and the bike both board the plane to Zambia, Adam Lyman is still here in the MSU Agricultural Engineering Building making his final touches to the bike. Before in Guatemala we had a couple working concepts. They weren't really fully formed, fully functioning um, prototypes, and so this one is. Lyman said he is most excited about the grant being a full year because he will be able to study the thresher throughout a complete growing period. We'll be able to answer some questions that that we're really looking for on, you know, how long can somebody operate this thing for? How, how fast can they end up, you know, harvesting their beans? What's the real advantage that, that um, they'll get out of this? Lyman said he reached out to Dr. James Kelly during his preparation to make sure he was on the right track. Adam approached me about the possibility of trying to build some kind of a small thresher, you know, some sort of a, a, a manually powered thresher that could be used by small farmers in, in developing countries. And that's kind of where uh, this whole thing got started, yeah. Kelly said Lyman's choice to use a bicycle as the power source for the thresher could make the machine easier to transition into the farmer's routine. These uh, bicycles are very, are very are ubiquitous over there. People use them all the time for transport and moving people and, 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 and small equipment and so forth. So there's lots, lots of bicycles out there. So trying to adapt something that you could use that drive power from the bicycle to actually thresh is, is, is quite ingenious, yeah. Lizzie LaFave, Michigan State Journalism <laughs> student.